March 5, Heaven's Flawless Pearl. The kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant man seeking goodly pearls, who, when he had found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had and bought it. Matthew 13, 45 and 46. Christ himself is the pearl of great price. The righteousness of Christ as a pure white pearl has no defect, no stain. No work of man can improve the great and precious gift of God. It is without a flaw. In Christ are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Colossians 2, 3. He has made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. 1 Corinthians 1, 30. All that can satisfy the needs and longings of the human soul for this world and for the world to come is found in Christ. Our Redeemer is the pearl so precious that in comparison all things else may be accounted loss. In the parable, the pearl is not represented as a gift. The merchantman bought it at the price of all that he had. Many question the meaning of this since Christ is represented in the scriptures as a gift. He is a gift, but only to those who give themselves soul, body, and spirit to him without reserve. We are to give ourselves to Christ, to live a life of willing obedience to all his requirements. All that we are, all the talents and capabilities we possess are the Lord's to be consecrated to his service. When we thus give ourselves wholly to him, Christ with all the treasures of heaven gives himself to us. We obtain the pearl of great price. In the market of which divine mercy has the management, the precious pearl is represented as being bought without money and without price. In this market all may obtain the goods of heaven. The treasury of the jewels of truth is open to all. The Savior's voice earnestly and lovingly invites us, I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich. The poorest are as well able as the richest to purchase salvation for no amount of worldly wealth can secure it. It is obtained by willing obedience, by giving ourselves to Christ as his own purchased possession. We cannot earn salvation, but we are to seek for it with as much interest and perseverance as though we would abandon everything in the world for it.